This election season, we got to vote for one of the two U.S. senators, and voters have selected incumbent Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono, who joins us this morning. Congratulations and thank you so thank much. Thank you. Good morning. Awesome. So tell us, what are your views of this presidential election and the results that be? Let's just say that there were a lot of surprises, but at the same time, um, I intend to go forward with uh, the values that we hold dear in Hawaii, that those are values of decency, care for others, and there are a lot of things that we need to do, and I intend to do it with uh, my colleagues in the, in the House and the Senate, as well as locally, by the way. There are a lot of issues that are going to need to be dealt with by state legislature and our council. So I, I would say that going forward, well, I, I would like to be working much more closely with everyone to get things done for our people of Hawaii. And speaking of the people of Hawaii, you know, what impact do you think that Trump and his administration will have here for residents? One of the concerns I would have, aside from that, that we have a president-elect who says that he's going to terminate the Constitution, so uh, that is definitely uh, something that you will hear my voice raise uh, to protect our Constitution and to protect the rule of law. But at the same time, our kupuna, for example, really care about the cost of prescription drugs, and we have... to um, eliminate the, the uh, negotiations of, of drug prices. That's going to have an impact on our seniors. So I'm going to be uh, caring about those kinds of uh, impacts that could uh, come because of uh, Trump being president. And you said that the results, you know, were surprising to you. And up until then, the polls showed that the race was very tight, 50-50. You know, now that we know the results, um, how are you going to move forward through this time and try to find unity? Oh, as I said, that the, the, they're going to be t uh, time for the Democrats to take stock of what happened. But at the same time, we know what our values are. Those are the values of protecting our Constitution and going forward and protecting our seniors, our our kids. You know, the other thing about Project 2025 that concerns me is that any kind of an effort to eliminate the United States Department of Education. That is really important in terms of support for schools in Hawaii. So those are the kinds of very specific programmatic th changes that Trump would, could pursue uh, that I will be watching. And, you know, you have been reelected. What is now top of mind and what is your agenda moving forward now? Well, as I said, the agenda is going to be to take stock of what we need to do as, uh, as Democrats. And I'm certainly going to continue to look for things where I'm working with my Republican colleagues to get things done. And so I'm, I'm certainly I'm going to want to continue to provide support to the people of Maui. We need to get a uh, consensus on what that would look like and also Red Hill. So there are some very specific issues that impact Hawaii. And I want to make sure that, uh, that, I'm, that we are working with the Republicans <laughs> to get that done. And I hope that we can count on their support, too. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, among the items that you just listed, you mentioned Maui. Can we get an update on the FEMA funding uh, for the Maui Recovery Plan? My hope is that the, when I get back to Congress, which will be in a matter of a week or so, that we will have a, a lame duck, what's called a lame duck session, so that we can have supplemental funding for Maui. All right. Senator Hirono, anything else that you would like to well, add? Well, I'm going to keep fighting for the people of Hawaii, and I want to thank the people of Hawaii for giving me the opportunity to continue to represent them. Thank you so much. Aloha. Thank you for being here.